The same thing that happened to music for good or ill, because the result of that was, you know, where we're at now. And essentially music is considered to be valueless to people. They think it's done something that's free that just comes out the air or it comes out like a water out of a tap, right? As part, so part of the democratization of the capacity to create and distribute it and then the resulting sort of monetization strategies of the corporate entities has resulted in that. And I always knew the same thing was going to happen to every other medium, for good or ill. And that's what we see happening now. Uh, that people expect to be able to do things and they expect to be able to get things. So that's both amazing because uh, with things like um, Unreal Engine and so on and so forth, kids can make movies in their bedrooms now. In the same way that I could make an album in my bedroom in 2000, 2003, a kid or in his homie can now make a movie in their bedroom. And you're already seeing <coughs> things coming out that are competing with the contemporary system with regards to, I mean, we've already seen it. Like they can't compete with like kids on vertical vo video platforms. There aren't movie stars anymore. Kids right. look up to, were looking up to YouTubers. Now they're looking up to vertical types. They're looking up to themselves. They're not even looking up. They're more interested in their own things, I think, and what they're creating and what they can do. So, so it sounds like what you're describing. Gods. It sounds like what you're describing is like the easier a thing is to get, the less we value it as a society. I think that applies to yeah, of course. yeah music, comedy, porn, even. You know, yeah, like, why do you have to pay for any of it? So why would you pay for um, art if you can get Dali to draw you something? And you're and you're so unsophisticated in yourself, you can't tell the difference anyway. <laughs> wow you know uh so <laughs> there is a wonder there is as as with everything right there's this wonderful exciting aspect to it and also a terrifying shadow aspect with everything and it, it's always been the way ever since man first picked up a rock and he could either like draw a smiley face on the wall or he could cave the chief's head in with it like our technology has always had equal capacity for carnage and, and glory and creation and destruction so we're just at this interesting juncture in the human story where suddenly there's never been more opportunity for individuals to express themselves and to do what they're here to do uh, and do what they love while simultaneously there's never been a greater devaluing of those things so how do we find out who are the dollies of our time then who decides that well we decide like we decide it's up to us and we decide what has value to us and what has meaning to us and it's up to us to decide where we put our attention and uh, what we accept, right? You get the, the amount of tyranny you get is exactly the amount you accept, right? Simultaneously, the quality of, of art you get is the quality you accept. So it's right, it's just being open to it and like, li yeah, listening to like really being open, listening to what is moving you and, uh, and then like, don't shut up about it. Don't be shy about promoting what you love and the, Talking well, that's the thing, right? So yeah. I feel, well, I don't feel, I observe, and it's understandable, but I feel if people put as much passion into promoting that which they loved, as opposed to complaining about that which they claim to oppose, it would be a very different world. Because half of this creepy shit and half of these awful movies, and I only hear about them from people moaning about them. I would have no idea certain things existed if it weren't for people constantly complaining about them and posting them in an outraged fashion. Uh, you know, they, they do incredible, and it works in both ways. Jordan Peterson blew the fuck up because of his detractors. It was them that blew him up. It was right. his haters that got him popping. He followed the same formula as 50 Cent. You know what I mean? He got <laughs> like people hating on him and created and like engaged in sort of drama situations. And then when people came to him, he had this massive catalog of work. 50 Cent had all these mixtapes and he had a group and he, he had this whole world that people get lost in. People are like, oh, it was that motherfucker who got shot who's always beefing with people. And they go look at him and then he had this big catalog and he was very good at what he did. So they went into his world. Peterson did the same thing. Right. He stood he stood up for what he believed in. He didn't back down. And he's like, yeah, look, and I'm prolific and I have all, all this to back it up. And yeah, uh, he got, and he was in these situations. He, he went walked into these situations that other people would have been afraid to. People would have advised him not to. Don't go on that Channel 4 show. They're going to try and destroy you. They're going to try and make you look stupid. That blows him up because he can deal with it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then people come they, and they go to him and he has this YouTube channel with like hundreds and hundreds of hours of amazing lectures. And then people get lost in that world. So yeah, yeah. it's, it works in both ways. 
the the, the attention thing. But uh, yeah, going back to what we were saying, I think it is the case that people, if people spent more time promoting that which they loved, as opposed to complaining about that which they don't love, it would be a different world because the things that they love would have way more uh, exposure and would exist at a much, you know, broader level. Yeah, I, and I know it's like you are what you create. Like what, whatever you focus on expands. Like I understand those basic comics, mm. those basic concepts. But as a comedian, like <laughs> it's just so much easier to mock something. Like it's it's easier <laughs> to generate comedy uh, out of something ridiculous than than there is to to create comedy out of that which you're praising. Well. You're already creating, so I would say the onus is less on you. I think it's more it's more the case, the sorts of people who it's less you because you're already creating things in the world, right? So you're putting things into the world and you're expressing that you've you've turned yourself anytime you make yourself good at something, you're essentially turning this body thing of yours into some kind of machine. You're a car or you're a sort or you're a uh a AK-47 or whatever it is, right? I always think of it like you turn yourself into a Gundam suit and then you let God drive, right? People, right. Stevie Wonder would always talk about how he didn't write his songs, like God wrote those songs through him. Like, right, your you job is great. to be in tune with like whatever channel yeah. is between you and yeah. God and like, and then just like let him write, like just let that be as open you. as you can and then just, then just let yourself get yeah, expressed. It goes through you, right? So the Byzantine conduit that is your life experience, what you've done, what you've loved, what you care about, what you think of that, what comes through you is filtered through that. So what comes out is an expression that could only have ever come through the individual that is you. What comes out could never have come through another person, right? Uh, so you're doing that. And anyone who creates with a deliberateness of purpose does that. And that can just apply to how you live your life, like whether you decide you're going to be happy today, whether you decide you're going to wave at the old lady on the street or like glare at her or what have you, right? You're living with a definiteness of purpose, therefore your life is art. So if you're, if you're creating and you're living with a definiteness of purpose, you're already doing what you should do to a degree. Uh, it's more, I would say it's more the those who are not necessarily creating things, uh, but are curating things. And a, a lot of us nowadays, we're either creating or we're curating, right? And if you're curating, what are you cur curating? Are you curating just a massive catalog of things that you loathe and distributing those and going, oh, look at this, it's awful. Are uh, you talking about Ian Miles Chong? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's, I, that's a very good example. He's a curator, that. yeah. Yeah, he is a curator. <laughs> He is a curator. Uh, and Dom much... Lucre as well, the watermarker yeah. extraordinaire. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of curators, but well, that's what's ha right. That's what it's become, right? And it's maybe it's easier to curate uh, than it is to create, and maybe it's easier to curate things which you know are just going to generate outrage and what have you, because that's easier than. But all I'm saying is, and I'm not saying those people shouldn't exist and shouldn't do what they're doing. I'm just saying if people thought about that a little more and just put a bit more effort into promoting and distributing things that they think are good and things that they think will bring joy and light to the world, that would make a massive, massive difference, even if it was just like 1%. If those sorts of people did 1% more distribution of things that bring good into the world or joy or light or whatever it is, it'd be a crazy different world. Wow, and even I could, I don't know, I'm listening to you, I'm like, I could be doing that more. Like I could pick one Real day. Good. I could pick one day of the week where I'm just, <laughs> being positive Ugh, but what fun is that no i mean exactly i mean <laughs> like that becomes we use the word for that in wales is gwenny that was very gwenny activity gwenny uh, like yeah we used to call that gwenny. like gwyneth paltrow <laughs> goop <laughs> goopy goop. i'm feeling goopy love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys oh, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye